Now, back in the late 90s, I used to actually run a ton of titanium. And we had these camera housings that actually went on these ROVs, remote operated vehicles that dropped to the bottom of the ocean. And these camera housings were made out of titanium and they were extremely expensive. I started machining these guys and we were actually tapping the titanium housings with a cut tap. But guess what? We were actually running 24 hours a day on that machine. And although we made some incredible parts, we went through a learning process when it came to tapping because we started breaking taps in the titanium. You know, there's a lot of people that say like, oh, you can still get the taps out or you can do this. Well, we couldn't get the taps out. And just the amount of time that it took to evaluate a broken tap in an expensive housings, we're talking thousands of dollars, right? It was just a waste of time. You see, when the tap engages, it would break and then it would keep pushing because it didn't have enough horsepower to actually stop the machine. So the machine didn't know that the tap was broken and it would just crush it into the titanium and that was a huge problem. And we scrapped out a lot of camera housings and then one day we simply made a change. We got rid of the cut tap, we went to a multi-flute thread mill, we dropped to the bottom, did one pass, dropped back down, did another pass, came out, and the thread was perfect. And guess what? There were times where the thread mill broke, but when it broke, because it was smaller than the ID diameter of the thread, we were able to simply take the thread mill out of the hole, broken, replace it, retouch it off, and continue the process. And from that day on, as we journeyed into aerospace, where you make crazy expensive parts and you have low volume, I never tapped hard materials again. I always thread mill to make perfect threads. And guess what? No more scrapping out expensive parts because you broke a tap in it.